Hello security professionals, I'm Daniel, I'm with the Security Coach app, and today I want to talk about a global security operations centers. Uh, you may get this vision from TV of these GSOCs, is what I call them, Global Security Operations Centers, GSOC, uh, of these rooms, these dimly lit rooms with um, <clears throat> multiple uh, TV screens with maps and graphs and everything on there. And uh, yes, that, that is a GSOC. That, that is a global security operations center. Uh, but you don't need to have all that to have an effective global security operations center. All right. Um, one thing you can do is you can follow social media. Twitter's an excellent platform. Uh, you uh, follow the city that you are doing movements in or where your client lives, um, and they'll send you alerts. Uh, follow earthquakes, tsunami alerts, uh, weather, weather alerts, traffic alerts. Nixel is a really good uh, local-based um, alert system that will give you uh, information in, in near real time. When I say near real time, it has to happen first, and then somebody has to report it. Uh, for you to get the information. So it's near real time. I, I don't believe anybody when they say in real time because it's not really in real time. But, but anyway, that's another story. Um, so uh, uh, a couple experiences that I've had with it was, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll kind of go back and in no way am I politicizing or uh, trying to benefit from the events of what happened in Nashville yesterday at a school. Uh, but I, I, re I, I remember my experiences with uh, this, and it'll lead into what uh, the the GSOC will do and Twitter will do for you and these other platforms will do for you. All right, so back when I was on the police department, uh, there was a, a guy, He uh, uh, his girlfriend broke up with him, he lit his house on fire, um, and then he went over to the ex-girlfriend's house and uh, killed her whole family, shot up the whole family, uh, we responded to that. I was the first one on scene, called out the containment, uh, ready the rapid response into the house. Um, and so what he did was he lit the house on fire first to draw medical personnel, police over for traffic control, uh, bystander control, uh, media control. And, he, and it, was a, it was a distraction. It was, it was a, trying to distract us from what he then went and did on the other side of the city. All right. Um, actually, on the other side, on the on the city next to where he lit his house on fire. Well, f fast forward to uh, 2011. Uh, I believe it was 2011, 2010, 2011. Uh, we're with clients. We're over in uh, Santa Monica, and I'm following. I'm getting the alerts off of this, uh, off of Twitter, off of other uh, uh, other platforms, uh, and it says Santa Monica Fire Department responding to a, a house fire. Uh, and it was about two miles away from where we were. Uh, and it was fully involved, it was a fully involved structure fire. Um, and that kind of got my memory jarred uh, to where what happened with that one call that I was involved in uh, 10 years earlier, right? And I specifically remember speaking with the, uh, the family's driver about this structure fire. And I told him, I told him the story about what, what I just told you as to what happened and that we should heighten our awareness, right? Well, next thing you know, uh, the alerts are popping off that there's an active shooter at Santa Monica City College. Um, uh, the police are there. It's a running gun battle within the surrounding streets of the college. Um, and all these alerts are coming in, and we're evacuating the client based off of those alerts, all right? Um, that was my GSOC at the time, uh, and it alerts you as to what uh, is going on within. You, you said a mile radius. I usually do three-mile radius of our clients. Um, our client was like super happy. She actually was calling and bragging to all her friends about what her security did and what their, uh, how on it they are. And uh, I want your client to be happy with your services also. And that's one way to get information relayed to you uh, wherever you are, wherever their home is, wherever property you're, you're, you're protecting. Uh, so that it's really, really good. You monitor, let's say you have accounts in Malibu, like, like I do, uh, monitor earthquakes across the ocean in Japan because we know tsunamis can then come over. Um, you'll get your alerts from earthquakes all over the world and it could affect your client, your client's uh, property uh, and, and disrupt their business continuity, which is what you are actually hired 
to preserve is their business continuity. So uh, it's a really, really good platform. I use Twitter, I use Instagram, I use all kinds of social platforms. Uh, the Nixle, the local community-based alert systems, uh, emergency operation systems uh, within that city, county, state, what have you. So uh, that's, uh, that, that's what I use. You should implement that into your details. Every security team, every security program should implement that, uh, these procedures into their details. So uh, just a little touch on that. Um, it's very, very effective. So uh, with that, it's just a really short video. Uh, what I do want you to do, I forgot to tell you this last time, <laughs> was uh, uh, the, the website for the online course is up. The courses haven't been launched yet. We're still putting together technical issues, administrative issues, uh, emails not connecting, Stripe's not connecting. Uh, yeah, we're fixing all that, but the website is up. It's www.thesecuritycoachapp.com. Okay, so check it out. Look at all the programs we're going to be offering. Uh, you can sign up for our security mastermind program, which right now is an email list. Every Monday, I send out an email on topics like, like what I've been discussing in these videos, uh, procedures, uh, motivational <laughs> uh, scenarios, uh, experiences that I've, that I've experienced in my law enforcement career and now in my security career. Um, so go join it. It's www.thesecuritycoachapp.com. Uh, even even uh, clients who follow me that are not in the uh, security industry, uh, sign up, get the information, follow me on YouTube at the Security Coach App, Instagram at the Security Coach App, and uh, you can see what your current security company is not doing for you. Or ask them, why aren't you doing this? Or how are you doing this? Um, yeah, you can learn a lot about the security industry, a lot about procedures, what your security companies should be doing for you. Uh, security companies, uh, give me a follow. Look at the programs. There's always continuing education. You can always learn from me. You can always refresh if you already know. So, uh, so go check it out. Uh, it was good talking to you, and uh, we'll see you again soon. All right? Take care.